Hey guys, so today I went to Costco and I drove myself. <laughs> so I finally have um, glasses that help my vision in order for me to drive. And I'm very excited about it because it's been about two and a half years since, I was be since I've been able to drive. Um, so, yes, and on top of that, I went on the Friday before Memorial Day weekend so that was a, a, an adventure in itself but i got some good stuff some stuff is a little bit of stuff is new but a lot of it is the same old same old i picked up some romaine lettuce they didn't have the organic anymore i wonder what happened with that one um but i picked up some romaine and i got some cauliflower um so me and john had went to a restaurant called stony river and they had this parmesan roasted I think it was called Parmesan crusted roasted cauliflower and it was so tasty so I wanted to try to make that one day so I picked that up I got the Hawaiian rolls Ugh. these are a favorite um, to pick at for breakfast or with dinner when you have something really saucy and I picked up some peppers so not long ago I made that ravioli that like Greek flavored Greek seasoned uh, ravioli salad or something like that with fresh peppers in it or roasted and it was really good so I want to make that again because we're getting to that season where you know the weather is really really nice so that's a you know it doesn't have to be uh, served hot so that's a good dish to you know make on a hot day um, I got the cheddar so nice to see the prices are somewhat normal when you're not buying them on Instacart yeah, because they got ridiculous. They were like eight something, eight ninety nine, but now they're back down to I believe six fifty nine. Then I got fresh mozzarella. The boys love making all sorts of stuff with this. Um, also sandwiches. So we've been using a lot of fresh mozz. And then uh, there was a dish that I made with the breaded chicken cutlets with the roasted tomatoes or the blistered tomatoes with spinach. That was so good. I'm going to make it again. So I got some spinach. And then ciabatta rolls were on sale, a dollar off. So instead of $5.99, they were $4.99. That's some good stuff. They make some, they make good stuff there. I really like Costco. Oh, I didn't even finish over here. I'm sorry. I did finally, how many times do you hear me make a recipe and I'm like, yeah, they asked for olive oil and I don't have any, but I have the avocado oil. This time I bought olive oil, the extra virgin. And then this was new. Now I've had the Trader Joe one, um, the sun-dried tomato pesto. And so now I'm trying um, Costco organic. I don't like the... Um, Canola oils, so organic canola water, organic sun dried tomatoes, organic bell pepper, organic basil, organic almonds, organic garlic, blah 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 blah, balsamic vinegar, white vinegar, processed white vinegar. Don't like the word processed. Um, sea salt. Organic black pepper, organic rosemary. Ooh, look at that. Add to mayo for a sandwich spread. You could do all sorts of stuff with that. So that's going to be fun to play with. And then this was a new half and half they had. It's organic. This was, I think, $2.79. So I got that for John's coffee. And then Sean loves the avocado mash on tortilla chips. So got him some of that. And tacos and burritos, which... That's going to be in the plan, too. When I made those burritos, everyone went nuts about it when I just seared it on the stovetop. So we're going to do that again one day. Um, I got, so I have some potatoes in my pantry. So I got some flank steak. So I want to marinate that and we'll grill it. We'll have that with some potatoes. So... I like to get the pack with two because then you know the two are really big since we're a family of five, but they didn't have any. All of them had three, but this was the biggest one. So at least I know I'm getting 
the big ones. Then I got some ground beef. So for Memorial Weekend or Memorial Day, John wanted to make gourmet burgers. So we call gourmet burgers when you hand make them yourself and add stuff to it. So I'm going to, you know, look through my spice blends. And, you know, I know the boys love cheddar and bacon. So make that for them. Maybe saute some onions and put that in mine and John's. The possibilities are endless. And then it's been so long since we had baby back ribs. So I was watching Michael Simon. He does some outdoor cooking on the Food Network. And he um, smoked in his own grill, although he has a cold grill, uh, he smoked ribs. And a couple of years ago, I'm talking about years ago, I bought two bags of like the hickory wood chips from Lowe's um, with a little smoker box. Yeah, never used it, still sitting in the pantry. So I think I want to attempt it because he did it in like, I guess, three hours. So I'm gonna give it a try. We're gonna smoke some ribs. And then the dinner dogs, these are awesome dogs. I wish they sold the buns for that, but they don't. So I had to get these buns, the Sara Lee. Got those. And then this was new. So this lady was standing next to me and she's like, what is that? And I'm like, yeah, look. And it's strawberry filled. Ooh, I could, mm, I could smell it through the box. It smells so good. So they're croissants, strawberry filled with powdered sugar. <laughs> Costco keeps surprising me. Let me tell you. Matthew was very excited because he doesn't like chocolate. He's the strawberry fan, so he's excited to try one of those. And then I got the regular croissants, which are $5.99. Nope, my bad, $4.99. And then there was that recipe that I made the other day with the feta. Mm -hmm. Yep, the feta. So I'm doing that again. But I bought two of them because um, that other dish that I just said with the spinach the blistered tomatoes with the spinach on top of um, the breaded cutlets with fresh mozzarella. Uh, so I bought two of those because those are definitely in our future. Those dishes were so good. So I'm doing it again. Then peanuts because we like snacking on peanuts and we like snacking on cashews. Then I got some onions. I needed onions desperately. They had the sweet Vidalia, but these were less expensive. So I got regular yellow onions. It's a big bag. Those are big onions. And then this was new. So I want to try, like I like kombucha. And uh, I haven't had some in a while. Uh, they did have a ginger lemonade, which I was like, oh, you know what? I took a picture. Let me show you. So look at what I found at Costco. Look at that. It's ginger lemonade kombucha by Kirkland. $12.99. Definitely going to come back and get this. I love those two flavors for my kombucha. I like the GTS, but I want to give this a try. Yeah, so I definitely want to get that one day. But then I saw this one. This was on sale. So um, I was like, oh, let me get this one while it's on sale then. So this one has strawberry lemonade and mango passion fruit. Probiotic kombucha. So kombucha is fermented, so it makes it full of probiotics. Very good for you. Got to get used to the taste. At first, it's, you know, you're like, oh, it's like drinking vinegar right out of the bottle. But then you get used to it when you keep trying it. Like the French say about the children in that book, you know, kids eat, uh, French kids eat everything. It's not that they don't like something. They just haven't tried it often enough. So <laughs> that's my motto. And of course, when I'm there, I get pizza for dinner. So no cooking tonight. So that is it for my Friday before Memorial Day weekend haul. Um, I'm so glad to get back behind the wheel of the car and in Costco store. Um, I was doing Instacart way too many times. But now that I'm driving, hey, nothing's stopping me. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoy your holiday weekend. I hope it's safe and fun, and I'll see you in the next video.